Good morning, everybody. Good morning from Las Vegas. From our home studio, our hometown studio. Imploding the Mirage coming up tomorrow. That is tomorrow. But some people have it already. Why I'm bringing the champagne. Uh, in uh, Australia, I think they have it. Do they? I think it's out there because it's tomorrow there. Jeez. Right? They've always been sort of forward thinking people. Well, okay. I guess we'll take, uh, we're here to take some questions. Take some questions. Um, Ron forgot his monocle, so we have to stand way back here to read. Um, how's everybody doing? It's a weird time, right? Hope everybody's um, on the healthy and sane side. And everybody's uh, playing it cool. I'm not seeing any questions. No, it's just a bunch of happy faces. I don't respond well to that. Um, so unless we get some actual grammar happening. I'm what else could we talk? We could talk about... Uh, we got a bunch of stuff that we have to talk about today, but we can't yet talk about it. Is that right, Bobby Ray? It's a, there's a schedule of things we have to adhere to. No, what's happening? Want, Lifting the veil. Tell them if you want. <laughs> what are we supposed to? I've never heard anything about any of this. Maybe, Wait, no, he's just saying. I think. Oh, wow. We got stuff. We have performances. Oh, video. Uh, I think they know about everything. Do, you think, do they know about the performance? Yeah. They know about Colbert. People. Oh. Oh, yeah, they know about Colbert. Colbert. Do they yeah, know we're about on Colbert Col tonight. Yeah. You guys, know? you know about Colbert already, right? We're playing the Colbert show. To be in your live video. Hmm. Um, uh, got a video coming out. So, yeah. Can I talk a bit about that? Yeah, okay. we got a video coming out. So, yeah. So, Sing Lee, did, did, this director, visionary guy, did this, like, a 30-minute mini film, short film, featuring three of our songs. And... Uh, but we decided, um, and one of them was for our song "My Own Soul's Warning." But we decided to do a um, a, a, a separate video. The song's that good; it needed a separate identity. So that comes out. When is that happening? Today. Today. And you're gonna do the YouTube thing. And when? And when? You're doing the YouTube thing about a YouTube premiere. Oh yeah, and a YouTube premiere. Right? Bangladesh. Oh yeah. Good evening. I think Ecuador? you have to scroll is how you do this. Okay. What is the song you're most proud of on the album from Nick Kowaler? Well, probably going to change all the time. Uh, blowback right now? or Yeah, Blowback's pretty great. You like that one? Okay. Inspiration for lyrics? Um, Me. So, it's easy. Laura Garavito. It's her lunch break. Hugs from Mexico, we hug you back. Mm -hmm. Lake District in England. I, we, we went for years to England and didn't go to the Lake District. And then we finally went on a on a day off, on, uh, and it was just beautiful. We yeah. love, got love it, the Lake got District. Got boat. <laughs> We're holding up all right. We hope you guys are holding up all right. It's still uh, 2020 is a hell of a year and time. <clears throat> yep. We always enjoy playing Belfast, Kian 789. Darren, we got a, our buddy Darren's from Belfast. Yeah. Hey, Darren. I'm sure Darren's on here. Listen. Darren Beckett. <laughs> oh, man. Safe House Steve. Was this album easy or hard? Did it flow? Um, once we, yeah, once we figured out what we were doing, it felt easy. It felt breezy and fun. Until mm -hmm. until mixing time. <laughs> that sucks. Well, we, hold, we've probably said this before, but... We did something we've never done before, and we put we put this um, image of a painting of, of, of our of our now that you guys know it of our record album cover um, all around the studio, and so that was sort of our uh, our north star. I call, I call yeah. it our north star, our compass, and that made it flow. That helped. Um, do you know when the concerts would be postponed till? Uh, we have no, no, we're, we're our, you know, 
the main focus is that everybody is going to be able to come safely to the gigs and that we'll be able to go travel around and be safe and so that's what we're waiting for and we've postponed them as you know to basically the nearest that we possibly could um and that is looking like you know mid to 2021 and we'll see what happens and hopefully you know everybody's got their fingers crossed for a a vaccine that's safe for everyone and and we're just going to be watching just like everybody else <clears throat> but we can't wait to get back out there Are there 10 songs in the album taken from a larger number of demos? Mm. Yeah. Always. I mean, That's always the way it goes. There's probably 60. So many. 60 on the cutting room floor. Do you like macaroni and cheese, Ronnie? Yes, I do. Do they have Thank any plans to return me. to Costa Rica? We had, yeah, we made our first venture into Costa Rica not that long ago. And um, that gig was was so good. It was so oh, loud. The was crowd fun. was so loud. And so we'll definitely be going back to Costa Rica. The rich coast. Where is that from? I believe that's what it translates to. Come to Lithuania. My grandma's from Lithuania. Raimonda G18. A lot of emojis. Monterey. Monterey, Mexico, baby. Topo Chico. Oh. We love Topo Chico. Straight from Monterey. Gosh. I love the Topo Chico. Have you had the lime to Topo Chico? No, I don't, I'm not interested in no, that. I am <laughs> hot on the lime flavors. Okay, um, what do you got? What else is A lot of things going on. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Uh, which songs did Taylor Goldsmith help out with? We love Dawes. And um, Taylor came for a little while. And I'm not sure that any... There, there's there's a song that we have um, that is still putting some... We're still putting some finishing touches on that we did with Taylor called In A Way. Mm. And we're exploring different homes for that song. It could be a Dawes song. It could be a killer song. It could be for someone else. But it is like, you know... I mean, the strongest point is probably the lyrics, and that's, uh, you know, largely in part due to Taylor's <laughs> influence because he is very gifted in that department. Um, why do you always avoid coming to Texas? Like, please, I'm begging. I'm in Texas all the time. Yeah. And we played, I mean, we always play Texas. What are you talking about? Crazy Aron Aronica. Um, please come to Brazil. Austria. Austria. Hi, Austria. Very nice. Are you planning to do any online sessions until concerts are a thing again? We've done all the online sessions uh, that we would like to do for a lifetime at this point. <laughs> we have uh, a lot of things are coming out within the next few days. You're going to see we've done a lot of performances. And it's forced us to get out of our comfort zone. And that's always, I think, a good thing. And, you know, you find out what your, some of your strengths are and your weaknesses are. Uh, but it's brought in a lot of anxiety into my life. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm done with it. But we've done some, found some cool things. Blowback. I think I'm most proud of the of Ronnie and I did a rendition of Blowback on just piano and acoustic, and just like even kind of knocked us over. We were so proud of that that performance. What do you miss most about Vegas? We are in Vegas right now, and yeah. it is. Uh, <laughs> 10 o'clock and it's 109 degrees outside which makes me not miss Vegas that much I miss the nights in October Ooh, October nights baby you know this Leeds England <clears throat> Leeds let's see let's see what else we got a lot of uh, emojis and stuff. Am I missing living in Vegas? Another uh, now we moved to Utah. One of the things, I, it's you know, it's a part of my my identity still, and it's always going to be. But I also you know spent my well, which you know my wonder years, my formative years, whatever you want to call them, in in Utah. So I've kind of tapped into to some you know nostalgia and and 
and comfort there that I wasn't quite expecting. So I'm happy. I'm close. It's only, you know, five hour drive. I was recording in a pandemic. Well, not, that not too much be, yeah. different from a normal recording session, actually. You're, you're trapped in a tiny room and going crazy. It's, the, it's exactly like a pandemic. Uh, Emily Weatherill, 18, in Canada. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for the nice words. We That's kind. Music is is a, is a powerful thing. And it's it's weird to be on the other side of it because we were, we we started off <clears throat> on the receiving end and just like everybody else and um and that's I think what what ended up forcing us you know, to our instruments, and, and we're happy to. Oh, it's a, one of the impetus, there's a waiting until they can tour again, but they, music is, can help. Decided to just put it out. And why we're in this room right now about ready to make another record. Ecuador. Which songs are you looking forward to playing live? They're burning near Utah, yeah. Um, hoping everybody's doing okay with the fires and, and all over, especially in California, Northern California. Ronnie's beard is giving me life right now. <laughs> mm. My <laughs> wife wants me to take it down. I might, I might get all off. We're rock. Is it a Friends reference? It's a Friends reference, maybe about the band, mm -hmm. about people that aren't here. Yes, Ross and Rachel are on a break. They're coming in. Dave's on his way in soon. You never Thanks know. <laughs> He's not here, man. Play Man and Woman Enough. Man, Man and How do you Woman know Enough. About that? No, because it was on the list. Man and Woman Enough. You know, it's it's rare that you have the lyrics done and a song almost there, and it doesn't make it onto the record. It just it just wasn't meant to be for that song right now, but it you will hear man and woman enough one day. It's, it's a beauty. It's one of Ron's favorite songs. Yeah. Ron doesn't say that a lot. Oh, doesn't say that a lot. Rio. Um, <laughs> Secret show at the Mirage. <laughs> That's a good idea. Why we uh, no, not like that. <laughs> 